My name is Allison Walker and I am the Chief Commercial Officer at OM. My name is Beth M. Jenkins and I am our Director of Team Operations for our North American franchises for the Toronto Ultra and the Toronto Defiant. I'm um, Deidre Hayward um, and I'm the Director of People and Administration here at Overactive Media. I'm Christy, uh, I am the Executive Assistant to the CEO and the rest of the Executive Team along with the Office Manager. I'm Emily Macklem and I'm a Marketing Manager at Overactive Media. My name is Martina Chubric, I'm a Sports Psychologist for our Mad Lions teams. I'm Nicole Segura and I'm a manager for the Global Partnerships team. I'm Bridget Jackson. I'm the design lead at Overactive Media. Hi, my name is Fran and I am a streamer for the Toronto Defiant. This is Laura Shaleen and I am a senior manager here at Overactive Media on our Global Partnership team. My name's uh, Amy and I, I work on the Global Partnerships team uh, here at Overactive Media. Hi, my name is Megan, also known as Scarlet in the Overwatch community. I am the community manager for Toronto Defiant. Hey, I'm Anjali and I work at Overactive as the videographer and editor for Toronto Defiant. To the esports industry, the, there are a number of different things. The first is just the tremendous growth potential. I was very excited about what this opportunity represented. What I've come to learn is it really is the people that are so passionate in this industry that keep me going on a daily basis. Uh, the last thing I would say is the ability to bring my experiences in sport and media um, to an, an industry that's certainly new to me and to have an impact on what we're growing here. I played sports growing up, so just to be able to be a part um, of the start of a, a new sport essentially I think is really, really cool. What drew me to the esports industry? <laughs> to be exact and honest, I was looking for an internship at the time, and uh, I was looking for any internship as the students are, you know, like in the last year of uh, undergrad, uh, you're just looking for anything that is inside of your kind of spectrum of interest. My interest was sports. My interest was competition. My interest was groups that are fighting to be the best and see. <laughs> I used to play a lot of Dota competitively and loved the whole aspect of competing and like trying to be better and learn all the different moves that I used to start to watch players who played and then competitively so I watched the Dota International all the time and like seeing what the pros would do and like how big the arenas were and like how big of a community it was to like play in these like big events. Um, I think for me, um, what made the esports industry uh, really interesting was just this idea that um, you have this thing that, that doesn't totally exist yet. Um, and so uh, for me, it was uh, really exciting to think about being able to build something and really truly have an impact on the outcomes. <laughs> uh, women actually drew me to the sports industry. I was working for an entirely different company that just happened to have overactive media as a neighbor. And I had uh, Deidre and Laura, who currently work with us, they kind of dropped by my desk, told me a little bit about esports. And then uh, Deidre, who is my current boss, she actually eventually pulled me over. So. Uh, working in the esports and gaming industry is the community, uh, especially the Toronto Defined community. It's such a like, welcoming and um, like loving community. We have such great uh, members, especially in our Discord. Uh, everyone is so su supportive um, and just like overtly creative, which me as a creative person um, just thrives off of that. And it's it's really refreshing to see like such support from and dedication from um, our Toronto Defiant community. Media, I think there's there's a couple things for sure. I mean, people that we have here are just incredible. Love coming into the office every day when, when that was a possibility. Um, and then lately it's just seeing the growth that we've been able to achieve in a couple short years and all of the new faces that we've been able to add to the team. No sleep. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, I, I just think the the tremendous growth and just watching how far this industry has come, not only within our own organization, 
um, in the last two and a half years, but just the industry as a whole um, and everyone's eyes have now pivoted towards it. And to see for the future of women in gaming would be an established esport um, division for women, similar to the WNBA or the ATP Women's Tour versus Men's Tour, having an established esport league of a certain game. It doesn't have to be every game, but I think that would be really, really huge for women in gaming. So what I hope to see in the future of women in gaming is definitely more women in competitive esports. Um, playing on professional teams, that would be incredible. That's literally like my dream. You know, I think there's so much opportunity for women in this industry from both a competitive standpoint uh, and from the business side. You know, I think there's certainly uh, a lot of work to be done, but, but eSports is accessible and, and there are none of the traditional physical hangups that, uh, you know, get in the way of athletic equality. So I would say there's tremendous opportunity for women in this industry as gamers, as leaders uh, on the corporate side, uh, and I'm really excited to be surrounded by some pretty amazing women in esports.